Um, some people like to start off with their executive summary, but one thing you're going to do when you're designing your game design document is you're probably not going to work front to back. You're going to jump around a lot. And so for me personally, I like to just start with features and either you call it requirements, but I actually like to call it platform or platforms. All right. And the features are just kind of a quick dis description of what makes this game exciting what this game has to have, what genre it's in, you know, what really makes this game what it is. So, for example, uh, we're going to say it's a twin stick shooter with fantasy theme, fast paced action. Not a very, you know, go back and change that sentence later to clean it up. But I'm just trying to teach you all the cool stuff you can do. Oh, so what I did now is I control shift eight. And that's going to give you your nice bullet points. Bullet points are super key once you get used to using them. They make everything much cleaner, easier to read, and help segregate information. Uh, for the regular bullets, like I'm using now, that's Control Shift 8. For the numbered bullets, Control Shift 7. So when you're making a list, obviously, instead of typing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, uh, thing, that, other, and then you go, oh, I want to come back and I want to put something else ahead of other and this. Now I don't have to go back and change a bunch of numbers. I'm using a nice bullet point number system. But for the most part, I use a regular bullet point. All right. You're going to want to use this as often as, as it's useful or as necessary. So the features of my twin stick shooter, uh, it's going to be action packed. It's going to be addictive. It's going to make a ton of money. Um, it's gonna have. It's gonna be free with in-app purchases, like pies, mostly pies. Maybe some upgrades. And what you see, I'm doing now. Uh, I'll back up a little bit here. Every time I hit enter, it's gonna create that new bullet point. But if I want to make a subsection for that bullet point, just hit tab, and it'll automatically change into something. The numbers change into like Roman numerals, and the planes change into letters, I guess. In Word, it's a little bit different. But anyway, so free with in-app purchases. My players are going to buy lots of pies. They're going to buy upgrades, and maybe they're even going to click on some ads. I don't know. You're basically just creating the feature list that makes your game important at this point. Everything that you make in this game design document has to be editable. You're going to go back and fix it. This is always referred to as a living document, uh, meaning it's always changing. And everybody needs to be kept up to date on the most recent version. And eventually, once you kind of get everything in there, you want other people to at least be able to comment on it. And if, they're, if you trust them or you want to work together in that fashion, you can even let them edit it. So let's go ahead and set that up in Google Docs now. Um, who has access? You're going to change private to anyone with the link. This way you don't have to type in their name. As long as you share it with people, it's much faster to do it this way. Then down here at access, you can change what they can do with it. I always like to have comments open. Um, once you get later into it, you might let edit be open. but even from the very beginning, as soon as I share this to people, I let comments be completely open. Uh, but that's just me. All right. Well, I'll show you what that's really cool. Now that that's done, wow, why is this jumping all over the screen? All right. Well, up there somewhere is the share link. It's actually highlighted right now. So if I control C, it would copy it. And as long as people, as long as I gave that link to somebody, whoop, no, not that. As long as I gave that link to somebody, they would be able to jump into the comp, jump into the document, read it, and be able to start commenting on it. So I'll show you how that works next.